Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and Apple has released the third beta of iOS 17.2, which means that from now on, we're on a weekly schedule and we will see a new beta every week before we get the public release of iOS 17.2. Again, this is a great update coming in with a lot of new features and changes and some of them are really, really important. Now we're gonna talk about some new features and of course the exact release dates for the other betas and the public release. But first of all, let's take a look at the update so this is ios 17.2 beta 3 it should come to your device at around 600 megabyte it's 650 here on the iphone 15 pro max of course this is always different based on which device you have and which software you have currently installed on that device but if you come from beta 2 to beta 3 it should be around 600 megabytes and the build number for this update is 21c 5046c ending with a C means that we're going to see a couple of more betas before the RC version. So there might be one or maybe even two betas before we get the RC version and then a week after the public release. But this all means that the iOS 17.2 is quite close and it will be released to the public very soon. And now let's move on and talk about some really important changes with this update. First of all, we're talking about a really important setting that I was wondering why Apple didn't add from the beginning on iOS 17. And that setting can be found by going into the general settings. You will have here a keyboard and then you will have show predictions in line. You know that inline predictions is a new feature of iOS 17, which will basically show you the prediction in line when you're typing something. But a lot of times that's actually quite frustrating and it will add some words you maybe not did, didn't even intend to add. So let's say it's predicted predicting a word but maybe you're just typing those like three or four letters you don't want to type the, the whole word once you tap the space bar it will add the whole word and it's actually really really annoying but now finally with iOS 17.2 you will get the chance to actually disable it right here show predictions in line right there you can go ahead and disable this feature also we have a smaller change here where it says predictive text previously it used to be only predictive so you will have two options now you can disable inline predictions but you still get of course the old predictive text at the top of your keyboard there are also new settings for the phone app and for facetime so this is the same for both of them you will get share name and photo in both the settings of your phone and your facetime so if you go here you will get the same screen that you get if you go to this through the phone app so basically the ability to choose whether you want to share your contact or not basically your contact post right here so you'll have contact only or always ask right there and of course you can even enable or disable name and photo sharing right there so now you get these settings for both the phone and facetime and of course you can configure them separately so you might have a few different settings for one of them and different ones for the other one new settings have been added to the music app as well if you use apple music now you will get the option to choose whether you want to add your favorite songs to your library or not now previously up on just favoriting a song it would add it automatically to your library now you can actually disable that so you can favorite a song but that doesn't mean that it will be saved under your library talking about music when you go to your photos app the first time you update the iOS 17.2 beta 3 you will get this pop-up basically allowing photos to access your apple music so it of course can be used on the photos app photos can use apple music to curate songs for memories that's what you're doing here by allowing of course your photos app to have access to your apple music and this right here is back the moving wallpaper on ios 17. now this was actually removed with the release of ios 17. this is an old wallpaper that actually has these dots that can move it has been added back with ios 17.2 now let me show you guys where you can find this so if you want to add this old wallpaper back to your device on ios 17.2 you need to go to your wallpapers and scroll all the way down to collections here and there it is this is the wallpaper of course you will have a bunch of different styles here different colors that you can pick from you can of course just swipe like this to go to, through a ton of different colors and you also get the option here to use the light mode or dark mode or of course you can place it in automatic which means that it will be changed based whether you're using the light mode or dark mode setting on your iphone 
Another change here on the music app, you know that you, now you can collaborate with playlists on iOS 17.2. Well, if you're using that feature and you have a playlist here, you will see your name here. Of course, the person who has created that playlist, it will show the name of that person just underneath the name of the playlist. Another really important change on the FaceTime app, and this has been found on the code of iOS 17.2. It doesn't have any like settings where you can enable or disable disable this feature but it's there is a really interesting feature that will give you a warning if you have joined a facetime call which includes one of your contacts that you have blocked so anytime you join a call on facetime and some person which you have previously blocked on your phone is on that call it will actually give you a warning and now that we're done with the new features and changes, let's talk about performance. Of course, a really important part of every update. Now you can see this is the latest score on Geekbench 6 for iOS 17.2 Beta 3, and it's actually really amazing. We can compare this to Beta 2, and you can see it has actually improved. We see a slight improvement here with a single core score. It was 2,956. Now it's 2963. While a bigger improvement here is on the multi core score, with beta 3 we have a score of 7411, while it was 7357. So iOS 17.2 is improving a lot in performance, and it's actually really, really good. Even using it on daily basis, you will notice that the update is actually quite stable. You don't have any like random glitches or things like that. It's really, really awesome. And of course, the bugs are very, very minor. Now, when talking about battery, of course, it's really early to talk about the battery on Beta 3 because we just got the update yesterday. But I can talk about the experience here using the device on beta 2 for a week you can see the past day right here 50 percent we got four hours 50 45 minutes on screen then we have here about 75 or maybe 70 percent battery seven hours 57 minutes and then right here with about 65 percent battery six hours three minutes and of course here with 55 percent battery seven hours and 20 minutes which is not the worst ever of course it can be a bit better hopefully it will improve with the next betas and the final release but it's actually not that bad at all but again keep in mind that this is a newer device with the maximum capacity still at 100 so you can expect to have a bit of better battery life but we will have to wait and see if apple will actually improve things in the next betas, the RC, and of course, then the final release. Now, when talking about that, let's talk about the next betas, and of course, the public release. So, this update, beta 3, had a build number, as we saw at the beginning of the video, ending with a C, which most likely indicates that we will get another two betas before the RC, and then the final release. So, I would expect Apple to actually release beta 4, only on the 21st here and then on the 28th they should release the last beta which will be beta 5 most likely with the build number ending with an a and then right here somewhere on the fourth or the fifth we should get the rc version of ios 17.2 which is basically the same as the public release but they release it to devs before releasing the public update and then on the 11th, most likely, I'm at this point like 90% sure that we will get iOS 17.2 on the 11th of December. That should be the date when we get this update. And it has some really nice new features and changes. And I can't wait to see what Apple has in store for us with the next betas. And then, of course, the public release. We should get a few more cool new features and changes. But this will be, of course, the last release for this year. As after this, Apple, of course, will move on to the holiday season. And we won't get a new update until January 2024, which is the time we most likely will get iOS 17.3 beta 1. Now in the meantime, before we get iOS 17.2 released to the public, which again will be about a month away from now, we might get iOS 17.1.2. That because the problem with Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi bug is still persistent on iOS 17. It's, it hasn't been fixed with 17.1.1. So it's very likely that we might get that smaller update to fix that bug really, really soon, even though nothing is confirmed. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Of course, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.